What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. It is June 19th, Father's Day, and yesterday the Giants ended up having a really good game, but it was the opposite of how the first game went. The first game the Giants threw a shutout. In this game, the second one of this three game series, they ended up winning 7-5, to five. so obviously a big difference. The first game, the score was 2 nothing Giants. The second game, the score was 7-5 to five Giants. So lots of offense happened in this game, and it was like night and day of the two games. It started off with the second batter of the game, Wilmer Flores, hitting a home run, and so that made it one nothing Giants. And then there was a sack fly in the bottom of the first by the Pirates that made it 1-1. One one. They tied it up. Then, in the third inning, someone on the Giants ended up hitting a home run. That made it 2-1. to one. And then, when that happened, the Pirates came back, and Diego Castillo, I think that's how you pronounce his name, hit a three-run shot, making it 4-2, to two, with now the Pirates on top. So, obviously, that was a big turning point right there. But it wasn't what was going to end up being the final result. I thought for sure when it was 4-2, to two, the Giants were obviously going to need to score a lot more runs, which they haven't been able to do, like I said. And so I thought for sure that they wouldn't be able to come back and win this game. Well, then there is a home run by Austin Slater, making it 3-4, to four, with Giants still down by 1. And then Brandon Crawford ended up hitting a single, making it 4-4. Four to four. So that was really big when that happened. And then lots of different Giants and Pirates hitters ended up hitting them pretty hard. But they weren't having anything happen. And then there is offense again. And then there is... A double by Luis Gonzalez that made it six to five. I forget how the other two runs scored for the teams, and I can't look it up. Something is really going funky with my MLB app, and I can't see it. And I didn't get to see what the ending of that game was because I was with some family. So obviously, I didn't want to watch that with hanging out with family. So that's why also I forgot to say this, and I know I'm getting a little bit off track and a little bit all over the place, but I forgot to say this is. This is the same day I'm filming the one that was posted right before this video, and that's because I just did not have any time to go ahead and film yesterday. So today, I went ahead and filmed and then posted the video that would have been posted yesterday. So sorry about that. But anyways, like I was saying, my MLB app is not working very well, and I can't really see. I do know that Brandon Crawford, though, ended up capping off the game, making it 7-5, to five, and he ended up hitting a single to do that. So with that being said, I am super happy that that happened because Brandon Crawford is my player of the game. He's been definitely really struggling, especially against the fastball, which is very rare for him. But this season, he is not having the best season so far. But there's also four more months to go ahead and change that. So hopefully he will change that. But Brandon Crawford's my player of the game. He tied it up at four early on in this game and then ended up capping off this with a 7-5 to five win for the Giants. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please remember to like and subscribe. Alex Wood got the win and Camilo Doval brought his hot stuff like usual right now and hopefully continues whatever he's doing right now because it's working out for us. So he ended up making all the pirates get out and that made it a final of seven to five thank you so much for watching this video please remember to like and subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow